สวัสดีครับ Hello everyone, welcome to Speak Thai with me, Paul. In my previous video, you learned how to read positive and negative numbers, decimals, and fractions in Thai. In this video, you will learn how to read mathematical symbols and use them correctly in calculations. And if you want to know how to read special characters in Thai and which character looks like the teeth of a mouse, continue to watch my video. Hey guys, I am back. Here is how you read mathematical symbols in Thai and use them correctly in calculations. First, plus. บัวโลตอนบัว You use บัว when you want to add numbers. For example, to say two plus three, สองบัวสามสองบัวสามสอง is the number two in Thai, while สาม is the number three, and บัว means two plus. So สองบัวสาม Song what sum means two plus three. Next, minus. Lop, high tone. Lop. You use lop when you want to subtract one number from another number. For example, to say six minus one. Hok lop neng. Hok lop neng. Hok. Is the number six in Thai, while neng is the number one, and lok means to minus. So hok lok neng, hok lok neng means six minus one. Next, multiply. Kun miton, kun kun is pronounced with a long vowel. Sarau. If you pronounce it with a short vowel, sarau, it becomes kun, meaning you. You use kun when you want to multiply a number by another number. For example, to say two multiply four, song kun si, song kun si, song. Is the number two in Thai, while C is the number four, and Kun means to multiply. So, Song Kun C, Song Kun C means to multiply four. Next, divide. Han, rising tone. Han, you use Han when you want to divide a number. By another number, for example, to say nine divided by three, nine times three, nine times three, nine is the number nine in Thai, while three is the number three, and nine means to divide. So nine times three, nine times three. Means nine divided by three. Next, equal to. Tao gam, tao gam. In Thai, tao means to be equal, and gam means two in this case. So, tao gam means to be equal to. You use tao gam when you want to tell the result of a calculation. For example. To say two plus three is equal to five, song what sum tau gap ha, song what sum tau gap ha, song is the number two in Thai, while sum is the number three. What means to plus, which you learned earlier. Tau gap means to be equal to, and ha is the number. Five in Thai, so song what sum t 
ท่ากับห้าสองบวกสามเท่ากับห้า is say two plus three is equal to five next not equal to ไม่เท่ากับไม่เท่ากับ in Thai ไม่ means not and เท่ากับ means to be equal to which you learned earlier so ไม่เท่ากับ means not to be equal to for example to say five minus three is not equal to four ห้าลบสามไม่เท่ากับสี่ห้าลบสามไม่เท่ากับสี่ห้า is the number five in Thai while สาม is the number three ลบ means to minus which you learned earlier ไม่เท่ากับ means not to be equal to and C is the number four in Thai so ห้าลบสามไม่เท่ากับสี่ห้าลบสามไม่เท่ากับสี่ is saying five minus three is not equal to four next greater than มากกว่ามากกว่า you use มากกว่า to say a number is greater than another number for example to say five is greater than three ห้ามากกว่าสามห้ามากกว่าสามห้า is the number five in Thai while สาม is the number three and มากกว่า means greater than so ห้ามากกว่าสามห้ามากกว่าสาม is say five is greater than three next lesser than น้อยกว่าน้อยกว่า You use น้อยกว่า to say a number is lesser than another number. For example, to say three is less than five. สามน้อยกว่าห้าสามน้อยกว่าห้าสาม is the number three in Thai. ว่าห้า is the number five. And น้อยกว่า means lesser than. So สามน้อยกว่าห้าสามน้อยกว่าห้า is say three is lesser than five next greater than or equal to มากกว่าหรือเท่ากับมากกว่าหรือเท่ากับมากกว่า means greater than which you learned earlier หรือ means or and เท่ากับ means To be equal to, you use มากกว่าหรือเท่ากับ to say a number is greater than or equal to another number. For example, to say five is greater than or equal to three. ห้ามากกว่าหรือเท่ากับสามห้ามากกว่าหรือเท่ากับสาม Next, lesser than. Or equal to, น้อยกว่าหรือเท่ากับน้อยกว่าหรือเท่ากับ You use น้อยกว่าหรือเท่ากับ to say a number is lesser than or equal to another number. For example, to say three is lesser than or equal to five. สามน้อยกว่าหรือเท่ากับห้าสามน้อยกว่าหรือเท่ากับห้า Next approximately ประมาณประมาณ You use ประมาณ when you want to estimate a number For example to say approximately two kilometers ประมาณสองกิโลเมตรประมาณสองกิโลเมตรประมาณ means approximately. สอง is the number two in Thai, and kilometer refers to kilometers in English. So, ประมาณสองกิโลเมตรประมาณสองกิโลเมตร is saying approximately two kilometers. 
tips for you. Just like the abbreviation KM for kilometers in English, you use Gokai with more ma as an abbreviation for kilomet in Thai. So approximately two kilometers is written this way as a short form in Thai. Oh. Next, square root. Ra ti song. Ra ti song. You use ra ti song when you want to calculate the square root of a number. For example, to say square root of nine. Ra ti song kao. Ra ti song kao. Ra ti song means the square root of. And kao is the number nine in Thai. So, ra ti song kao. Ra ti song kao means the square root of nine. Next, to the power of. Yok kam lang. Yok. Gamlang in Thai, yok means to raise, and gamlang refers to power. So you use yok gamlang to raise to the power of a number in calculations. For example, to say two to the power of three, song yok gamlang sam, song yok gamlang sam. Song is the number two in Thai, while Sam is the number three, and Yok Gamlang means to raise to the power of. So, Song Yok Gamlang Sam, Song Yok Gamlang Sam means two to the power of three. So, how do you say the famous Albert Einstein equation? E equal m c square in Thai. E thao ka m c yok gam lang song. E thao ka m c yok gam lang song. E refers to the alphabet E in English. Thao ka means to be equal to. M refers to the alphabet M in English, while C refers to C. And yok gam lang song means to raise to the power of two. So, e thao ka m c yok gam lang song. E thao ka m c yok gam lang song refers to Albert Einstein equation e equal m c square in Thai. And lastly, here is how. You read special characters in Thai. First, percent, roi la, roi la. In Thai, roi refers to hundred, and la, which means per, is used after a noun, unlike English. So, roi la, roi la, refers to percentage as calculated per hundred. However, In spoken Thai, you can say percent instead of roi la. For example, to ask how many percent, you can just say ki percent, ki percent, ki, which sounds like ji in Chinese, means how many. Oh. And percent refers to percent in English. Next, at at loton at at is the familiar at sign you use in email addresses. Next, exclamation mark. Krang mai tok chai. Krang mai tok chai. Krang mai refers to mark, and tok chai means to be surprised. So you use "krang mai tok chai" as an exclamation mark to express surprise. Next, slash, tap, hai ton, tap, 
you will see Tha commonly used in house numbers of villages or condo in Thailand. The number before the slash sign indicates the village or condo number as a whole while the number after the slash indicates the house number of each house in the village or each unit in the condo. Oh. For example, to read the house number 3 slash 8, Sam Tap Be. Sam Tap Be. Sam is the number 3 in Thai, while Be is the number 8. And Tap refers to the slash sign. So, Sam Tap Be. Sam Tap Be refers to house number 3 slash 8. Next, comma, Jun La Pa, Jun La Pa. However, Thai people normally refers to comma as Luk Nam, Luk Nam. In Thai, Luk refers to chow, while Nam refers to water. So, can you guess what is a water chow? Yes, it is the mosquito lava which lives in the water. So, comma is referred to as look nam as it looks like the shape of the mosquito lava. <gasps> Lastly, quotation mark. Fan nu, fan nu in Thai. Fun refers to teeth, while nu refers to mouth. So, quotation mark is referred to as fun nu, as it looks like the teeth of the mouse. Uh -huh. Okay, that's all for today's lesson. Now, you know how to read mathematical symbols and use them correctly in calculations and how to read special characters in Thai. Thank you very much for watching this two-part series of videos on using Thai numbers, mathematical symbols and special characters. If you like my video, click like on the link below. If you find my video meaningful, click share, click subscribe if you wish to see more of my future videos. Thank you very much and see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Sawadee